Here at Burger Zeke, we grow and harvest our own wheat and bake it into our famous burger bread. We farm our own cows, pigs and chickens. And then we slaughter them. Using our own secret ender chest technology, we transport the freshly baked bread and the fresh meat directly to the store as we need it. The meat is put through our super secret 10 second cooking technology. When the pork is done and the chicken is delicious and the steak is perfect, we put it all together into our world famous Zeke Burger. If that's going directly into an ender chest, the power can go straight underneath it, and I don't have to worry. Looks like it's getting dark up there, I should probably go to bed. Okay, this place is coming together. I do have a lot of glass and a lot of ceramic dye. The black ones only at the moment. So I should... Make a start on putting that in. Now, I was thinking about this. I don't know if I want to use full blocks or panes. I know the glass across the front here is going to be full blocks. But along here, it can probably be panes of glass. All along the sides. I think the only place that I'm going to have a problem with that would be here. I don't want to have a pane there because this one's going to be a full block of glass. It might look a little odd having this full block and then half a block in the panes up there. So this wall here, maybe this will be only glass blocks as well. I could make this another entrance. And that would kind of make this a front of the building. And the one back there could be the side of the building, the side entrance. All the way back here. And that there's downstairs, so I don't really want to have a door there, because you'll fall straight down the stairs. I think that's the best way to do it, is to make the panes for everything except these ones. Now, I'm pretty sure I can make uh, panes out of the, the dyed glass. So let's uh, have a look. You there. Yes, I can. I get 16, or I can use 1 for 1. I think this here will be much more uh, efficient. So I need my crafting table for that. And I really have no idea how much glass I'm going to need, so let's start with 16. Which will give me 32. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to start with the back. Yeah, that looks alright. Not bad at all. But I need more. I may have made too many. Yeah, just a few too many. Oh well. I don't think it matters that much. I can use them in a future project somewhere else. Get out of here. No one likes you. He went a long way. And he didn't actually die, or there's another one. Alright, so we've got all of those panes in place. These front ones, ouch. Would be better off being stained. Where did that just go? Oh, that must be an inventory tweaks bug again. Yeah, I can't turn those back into regular glass. I think I do it this way. No, I didn't think so. Oh well. Alright, so that's uh, going to be done separately. These are all going to be blocks. I don't want to glass it up until I get the animals in there. Should put the fences in and then maybe have a look at trying to find some Actually, the fences may not be such a good idea right now. Because if I can't find enough sheep to fill them all, I'm going to have to breed them, and then it will be a pain to try and separate them. I think it's going to be a pain to try and separate them anyway. 
Oh, well, why can't I jump up there? There we go. The cows I should be able to put in, no worries. Because I just need... 6, 8 or 10 or whatever in here. I can probably glass up some of that already. Uh, let's glass up this side. There. And the cows, I can just waltz in here. I can glass that up and then jump out. Easy. I have to find them first. Yeah, I know I've got some all the way back at my other place over there, but I have to do a lot of hill jump, hill climbing and jumping and such to get here. It may not be so easy to bring them over here. But, uh, I'll think of something. Alright, so I need to go make these things. I need to make some solar panels and battery boxes. And... I could use this, um, this out here as a power station. But I want to try and get away with only having the two chunks loaded at once instead of three. Because... Are they chicken chunks? Yeah, chicken chunk chunk loaders. We'll either do one or they'll start doing nine and... I don't want to have to put three here. Just to keep this bit loaded. I'd probably do it with two. <laughs> one there, one there. One extra probably won't uh, do much. Unless I have a look into... Where are they? These ones. Spot loaders. Which takes an entire chunk loader and gives me ten little ones. I think they look either keep one or they keep nine loaded, I can't remember. And by I can't remember, I mean I've never actually looked into it. So, probably get away with a couple of spot loaders. Hopefully. I'll get these things made, I'll get them filled in. And I'll get some animals, and next you see this place will be alive. And I was just having a conversation with my housemate while I was placing some things around. We found a sheep and let it into the first pen. And he mentioned, I was telling him about actually moving animals so far, and he mentioned a grabber. I'm pretty sure he was actually referring to the portal gun that I'm using in my FTB worlds. Shift clicking, thank you. Ah, I've run out of space. What don't I need? I was going to dump torch. I know a lot of people are going to hate me for that, but I'm doing it anyway. Anyway, he was, I'm sure, referring to a portal gun. I should pick the torch up again. Now you don't have to hate me. Alright, let's go. When I remembered there is actually something I can use. I'm going to grab that magenta die to actually grab an animal. It's gone dark. It's getting dark. It's almost there. Come on. Anyway, this uh, thing, I'll show you while it's getting dark, requires a ghast here. Here it is, the safari net. A ghast here, four ender pearls, and makes a safari net. And for those of you who know anything about Pokemon, this is essentially a Pokeball. Except I don't throw it, I just kind of right-click with it and place on the ground. Moving on, I need to find my enderpearls. They're all the way back to storage. Alright, let's see. So I've got a bunch of dyes I'm going to need. Let's stick all that in there. The ghast here I'm going to need to mix with some enderpearls. I made my extra ranches. I'm slowly building up a collection of dye to dye all the glass. I should put the glass in there. I have a lot of that. That needs to go in there. I'm pretty sure I'm set. Now I'm grabbing these because I'm going to need some ender chests. Alright, see you back at storage. Okay, so I'm all set to make ender chests. Now hopefully I have enough stuff. It looks like I do as soon as I put that in there. I'm going to need eight of these for the ranches. And I can make one more anyway. Might as well. That's it. We'll take that one out. Next thing I need... Where did I put my ghast here? There it is. So we put the ghast here. We surround it with these. We write a plan. Always have to have a plan. And bam! We have a Pokeball. Safari net. We have a Safari net. 
Cool. These things are incredibly simple to use. I may even be able to use them on a villager. I'm going to go test that right now. I know exactly which one I want to try it on to. Oh, Wizrobe. You there. Nope. Damn it, I can't catch a villager. But I can catch a cow. And that was my phone. I'll be back. I'm back. They hung up. Alright. Don't need chickens. I've only got one safari net and it already has a cow. Now you see that a cow has nine health and it's a cow. So that's pretty cool. This will tell you, you know, whatever you have in there at the time. And when I want to get the cow out of there, bam. Hey there cow. And now it's empty. Come back. Come back. There we go. Now unfortunately I've only got one ghast here. I thought I had two. I've only got one. So I'm going to have to carry them over one at a time. I think I'm just going to move two cows over and then breed them and put two sheep on each side and breed them up might be the easiest way. Now is there anything else that I need to do before I go back? Let's see, fences, ah oh, yes, the solar panels and all of that fun stuff. Alright, I'm just going to dump everything into this end chest so I know where it is, this little one. Back where you came from. And you. And then I'm going to get to the solar panels and all of that fun, expensive stuff done. I'll keep my sword, my bow, and my arrows. There. And once again, I'll see you over at the slaughterhouse. Made a fair bit of progress, and I kind of got caught up in what I was doing. I have a whole bunch of sheep now. I found one of them, two of them over there, the rest I've been breeding. Got the fences in place, the grass is growing underneath, that's good. The cows are in here for the moment. Where's my wheat gone? Because I need to breed up their population a bit. And they're in here because I have power. I've got these two little solar flower things happening. Go away before you start making a note. Stop, stop your buzzing. Get out of here. These things are so hard to hit. I'm just going to go up there and kill him. Nope, no, he's coming over there. There. Where was I? Um, yes, these solar flares up in the roof. Solar flares? Sol solar flowers. Solar flowers in the roof. The idea of their placement is kind of twofold. This is directly in line with these uh, I don't know, spacer blocks down there. I'm going to have kind of like girders across the roof made out of this uh, metal block here. There's going to be one running up the entire length there, one running up the entire length there, and then one sticking out of every one of these things. Which just happens to perfectly coincide with the center of those. Now I'm going to have to also put one in the middle there, but they join up in the across the center here. No worries there. Okay, they go into their battery box obviously, which then goes into this battery box down here. And I put that there because I didn't want to have an open hole in the floor. It kind of looks better with the battery box. And on this side, you see that there's two battery boxes. They're kind of like making the end of these things. And this is why I didn't want the cows there, because these things are now fully energized. They're fully powered up. The breeder is fully powered, but it has no wheat. So that would pull any babies out here, which when they grow would get pulled out here, which would get slaughtered. Which in the end is the idea, but at this point in time it's kind of counterproductive. I need more cows. So anyway, I was just about to try and find out what colour this sheep is. I don't know if he's grey or light grey, so let's dye this one grey. Looks like he's light grey. Okay, that's a, a little bit of a problem because I don't have any grey. I'm going to have to make some more and I'm running out of black. These are all the ink sacks I have left. Actually, I had to do a bit of running back and forth between uh, the home base and the storage in here. And I've come across a few squid along the way. And here's what I've been doing to move these guys around. Pick them up. Pop them down. Okay, so we have a couple of white, we have a couple of grey. We'll put the light grey guy in here. 
I don't know what order I want these guys in yet, but I kind of want them in pairs at the moment so I can sort it out. You come over here then. Uh, you can go in that one. Um, do you, oh, I'm going to move him over here. <laughs> here goes sheep. All right. Uh, already these guys are making a lot of noise, which is why I'm kind of glad I'm not going to spend much time here once it's done. I actually think I might leave off the breeding until the rest of this is done. All right, quickly head downstairs. I have most of the cables hooked up. I've got like one cable left which I can connect to that battery box and then all of those things will get power. And then I need two. These ones are all hooked up. I might put another battery box in there and that'll give me two more cables to connect there. I've got my ender chests in place. They're all directly connected to the main storage, which is where they're going to go in the end anyway. Stop it. Don't even start. There. I'm going to do something to this room to make it... Um, cleaner. I don't know, it's going to have to have the brown roof, but the floor doesn't have to be so ugly. Anyway, I still don't know where I'm going to put this. The composter is now full of crap. I think I might move that, um, I don't know, in, in the middle here somewhere. So these sewers don't have so far to send stuff, but then this one will have, but that's only one, so that's fine. And then I'll be kind of close to where all the power comes into. And I'm still going to set up the wheat thing. But I'll get to that later. And I want to change this floor too. I only want the grass on the inside of the pens. Outside here is going to have to be something completely different. Yeah, don't know. I've got plenty of choices. But for now, I need to go find where I put the rest of these and see how many I need to finish off all the roofs here. All the coders. He's down there somewhere. I think they're off at the tree farm because there was that one chest which had all the, the excess megalithic construction stuff in it. And I think, seeing as this is going to be an entryway... Oh, don't do that. We can take these out. There. That's a bit better. And, I don't know, maybe I should replace these... These, um stained glass in here and here. Maybe I'll leave them. I don't know. We'll see how I feel at the end. 